So, so this is the the back entrance to the to the kitchen. So this is where all all the food supplies will come in for the kitchen, and then Meals on Wheels will come to this entrance to take all the Meals on Wheels back out to everyone in the county. And then this is the employee parking lot. So this is not for the public in general. That's on the other side of the building where we took the old fuel pumps out. The concrete that came out of the building, all of the site um, pavement was piled here, recrushed and reused. So it's essentially kind of a recycling project on the site essentially, right? We haven't brought in any fill for the paving yet. So we've got some pretty significant cost savings to the county as, as far as that goes. This is the, the main dining hall for the Senior Center, Community Center, ADRC. All the Meals on Wheels program is going to come out of the kitchen. There's a walk-in cooler that transfers into a walk-in freezer. <clears throat> There's a large um, dry storage good area. That is the complete kitchen and a scullery all in one. All right, and we did do the adult for the AC for the kitchen. That wasn't part of the original project, so we did add that in. Um, in front of the window, there's going to be a, a drop-down screen with a projector, okay? And then on this, um, this section here where you can kind of see there's a, a crescent moon where Ken is standing, that's essentially the stage area, but it's not a raised stage. It's one level, okay? There are um, drop-down ceiling clouds that are going to absorb sound in here, so we'll lose some of that echo effect. And then behind the um, parapet wall is all of our mechanicals. There are still a lot of things that have to come over the top in the ceiling. So there's some return air and some, some ducting and things. But those clouds will essentially hide it. You know, I'm, I'm sure people are already looking up. A lot of the um, sprinkler system and stuff just disappears with the paint colors and things like that. So this room is in floor radiant heat. Not the primary heat source, but it's a backup recovery heat source. That's one of the things that you would add it to the project. So in the, in the summertime, the deck will be open and available so people can come and go. Right, but in the wintertime, those will be closed. Yeah, so there, there's a ramp off the deck, and then there's also steps on each end for the, for the deck. So, so the bathrooms for this end of the building are here. We've got the male and female bathrooms, and then we have a family bath as well. This is the crane that we saved and the finish that we ended up putting on it. So it's pretty much a natural finish. So it's, it's got a finish on it, but that's, that is the finish that it's going to be. It's got that finished patina that it's going to stay just like that. It's not being painted, nothing else. That's, that's how it's staying right there. This is the fireplace here. This is the main entrance. And the parking lot for public parking is out here. So there's a drive-through parking and drop-off zone that lets everybody into the, the front entrance. So where Roy is standing and Ken and Biz, there's actually a counter that comes out probably to about here. So, so the staff will be behind a counter and they can direct that can right, provide services to check in whether they're going to the dining hall or they're going to another space in the building. So the exercise equipment coming over from the senior center now will be in there. Probably three times the size or so of what we have currently. <clears throat> the one right behind here that has the scissors lift in, that's actually a storage room for all the equipment that's in here. So this is set up as a large activity room to do um, retirement. It's a retirement. Yeah, learning and retirement. That's the right way. So we got two 75-inch TVs that can go on this wall for that type of programming. 
and then desk type, desk type seating here, right? This floor and all the floors that you walked in through are also in floor heated. And then this floor is kind of a squishy, rubberized floor. So you can do yoga, whatever. Whatever kind of exercising that they're gonna do in those types of classes. Yeah, so that, where that curvy wall was, that's for coats, wheelchairs, walkers, whatever. An actual designated space for that stuff. More so in the winter than the summer, probably. Up above the wall here, there's, there's actually uh, windows that are going up there. So we got, we got borrowed light that's going to go through. So we'll stop all the sound in here from escaping to the other rooms. So above this wall, all the way to the ceiling, it's a whole panel of windows all right, that'll, that'll essentially extend that wall to the roof line that stops the sound in here to stay in here and all the other sound that stays out there stays out there. But then we'll have borrowed light that transfers back and forth. And down here to the left and to the right, we have offices on the left. And then on the right are more activity rooms. These are starting to actually get finished out and they have paint on them. So you can start to see the colors of what the offices are and the activity, and the activity rooms. So th this is actually the employee entrance for the community center employees. So they all come through this back entrance. They won't come through the public entrance doors. All right, so everyone will come through, fob through here, and then this is where they'll check into their ceridian on the wall here. So they, they do all that through here, and then this is their employee break room as well. So we've actually separated some of that, and then there were a couple employee bathrooms that were right around the corner here. So we've, we've now finally separated that so they're not in the same place as where the public would be using those restrooms as well. <clears throat> and then we finally have separate offices. So as we came around the corner there, that's a secured door that they have to fob through. And then when we got past all the activity rooms, there's a fob door there as well. So that corridor to the activity rooms is a public space that they can get into and utilize those activity rooms fairly easily, right? But everything from this corridor and then back around the corner here to where the um, conference room is, all private spaces for our employees, okay? And that has a lot to do with the, the HIPAA things and trying to get to our compliance status that we need to get to as an organization. <laughs>I wanted to stop here and point out to everybody is the stonework. <clears throat> so there's a lot of places on the building that we had to do infills and stonework. So, so there are questions about running out of stone on the project, right? So there, there, there are many places within the notes on a project that said recycle, reuse stone by owner or, you know, to, to do that. So this is just one place. <clears throat> this was the original end of the building, okay? So where we're standing now was the driveway that came into our property before, all right? So anything beyond this wall is all new construction. So in this section, there was actually a chimney that had to come out. And so where that stone is, that stone all was not stone at all. There was a chimney there that came out. So in this place, as well as many others on the building, we had to recycle and reuse stone. So you'll notice how they had to fit in the different widths of how the stone is. So he, he matched up and fit the different widths. So it's, it's wide here and narrow and then wider and then really narrow. And you'll see that if we walk around the front of the building, how he did that on the front of the building as well, where they got these wide and narrow sections and they had to use all of our original stone back from 1936. And they refit, recut, reused. So you'll see some pallets of stone that are sitting around and you'll question, we have more stone. Yeah, we have more stone, but it's not really usable stone. If that makes sense to you.
training room essentially. And then we came by where there's a crew, what do you call it, lounge essentially. And, and then we came through where there's a crew kitchen. All these rooms and doors on this side is where the crew quarters is. So where Ken is standing right now, that's a secure fob door that you have to get through to get down through into the crew quarters. And then there's a very small space where the public can come in and, and interact either with the director or the assistant director or the, the front office staff um, in dealing with bills or questions and things like that. And then they do have an office where they can, they can sit and talk about whatever their, their issues may be, either with, with billing or, or other things. Up there where that door is, is high capacity storage. So the, the rolling shelves that can squish together. So we have high capacity storage units that are going in there so we can maximize our space. So it's a fairly small space, but we can store a lot of files in that room. And then the next room that's um, just to the right of that one is a, a second IDF closet. So that's where we have um, four inch conduits coming off the front of the building and then two four inch conduits going to the back of their building um, that'll go to a radio tower. And then AT&T can bring in uh, phone service and we can bring in cable service off 14th Avenue into that room as we need. So if we start to look into original structure that was removed, we would start to look at the site overall and that would be fuel tanks that were underground that was removed and it would be fuel tank and fuel capacity that were underground to the south of the building. And so we made a conscious decision to put them above ground and, and reduce that fuel capacity that we have underground. So there, there is a time schedule that we need to move the employees out of the senior center because that building is scheduled to come down right at the end of December. So I think we can head out the, uh, what essentially would be the front door and we'll walk along 14th Avenue to the front parking lot. So here again, I just want to mention the stonework where the, the stone here is all reclaimed stone on this garage bay and how they had to match that up. <clears throat> and then every one of these lintels above the garage doors, these were all replaced. And so all the stone above the garage doors was all removed, taken out, put on pallets, rechipped and replaced. So again, essentially a recycling project for the county. And that includes all the inlay brick. So the lintels above the inlay brick, those are all replaced as well and then the stone had to be replaced and put in again. So all of that stonework was redone on this building. So as we walk by a few pallets of stone, you might get it in your, you know, you might think, hey, we have stone, but it's really not usable stone to, to match up and reuse. You do have to give your hat back.